you guys, if you don't like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up right now, this is what's gonna happen to you. Sorry to disappoint you guys, like it's, it's not really good right now. I thought the hat would match better because it has a little bit of red, but you can't even see the red like that. So now it looks like I'm mismatched, but it's matching. Yeah. Anyway, so we're leaving right now. We're going to Guanajuato, which is like an hour away. We got everything ready, and we're going to do it. All right, y'all, so I don't know if you guys remember, but when we showed y'all the best view in the motherfucking world, well, here is the best view, but in day. Oh my God, I wish you guys could see this in real life. Salud, mi amor. He's not gonna be vlogging too much today because he's very sick. Desafortunadamente. Who's playing this music? Slappers. Welcome guys to the best view in the world. Hold on, hold on. It's still not the best. No, it is. Y'all are welcome. Leave a like and a motherfucking comment. She's not good at finding the hole. It's a bit harder than I thought. Okay guys, we're here in Guanajuato after one hour. This is our hotel room. We got two beds and literally to ourselves. So we can like, we can play the jumping monkey game. <laughs> but yeah, it's real cute. Cute little bathroom. And then this is the toilet and the shower. Very nice, very really nice, very really nice. So we're lucky tired as fuck, to be honest, to be real, to keep it 100. 100,000. So we might take a nap. <laughs> At this point. So yeah, we're gonna take a little nap, but in nap perhaps. Wait, I have something to say very important. Don't do it. <laughs> we're finally here. We're going to the downtown, downtown University of Guanajuato. This is the walk. Very tiring, but I can do it. Very aesthetic. I may say myself, like it's kind of like me, but in, in the city. Yeah, this is a university. Look at all the motherfuckers there. I cannot go to school here. Hell no. Nah. If we lived in Guanajuato, we would be so skinny. I'm good, huh? <laughs> I'll just walk in, boy. Guys, we're in a crazy location right now. And look at my mans. Look how thin these streets really are, bro. ¿Qué? Mi chingón. No hablo español. No hablo español. Yo no hablo inglés. <laughs> Anyways. Took the fattest nap fucking ever. 
or like the words travel people because we be tired. We be fucking tired, like I am. We be tired, you know, I'm like a tire because I be rolling, rolling on the cash and the ass and the zapatito blanco, zapatito azul. Eres una rata como Pikachu. Ooh, hueles a caca. No sirves para nada. Dude, check out her little Mikey, Mickey Mouse Air Forces. Look shoes. at your Mickey Mouse has toes. Okay guys, we are going to basically what we did yesterday in San Miguel on the little bus to tour the city. We're doing that again, but we're doing no, 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 it. No, 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 it's not that. We're walking. Really? Wait, are we really? Yeah. In the cold? <laughs> It's Callejoneada. We're doing the Callejoneada tour thingy. It's where we have like a tour walk us around town, all around downtown. And we're going through all the callejones. They're telling us all the history and shit, funny shit. You know, they're entertainers. But like in the middle of it, me and Alexis are going to sneak out. And we're going to a heist. We're going to heist the National Bank of Guanajuato. And we're going to get shot. No, Seba. Hey, why don't you put no. the shot? The, 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 the. No, <laughs> Okay guys, so we're gonna go on a fucking walk, I guess. ¿Quién manda en casa, el hombre o la mujer? Yo. Otra mujer, ¿quién manda en la casa, el hombre o la mujer? Yo. Chus viejos. Mira nada más. You guys already know. I've been searching all fucking Guanajuato for Pepa, the whole state. This way. Mm. The ones in Colima are better. Hands down. Hands down. El día de hoy estamos en el último. Oh shit, English, right? What's good, everybody? <coughs> yeah, mejor español. 
No, so today is the last day here. We are in Guanajuato still. And well, today we're gonna enjoy the day to the max. Right now we're gonna go rock around and see some cool shit. And then we're gonna take another like tour bus thing that's gonna take us to the major like fun things to do in Guanajuato. We're gonna do some nice ass shit. We're gonna climb to like the hand of this statue and shit and see the whole city. So so y'all stay tuned to this shit. And we're gonna be farting hella. Wait. <laughs> okay, y'all, so we got to go. Damn, that shit smells. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Somebody dropped the bomb in here, like, like what? Somebody pulled the pranks on us. <laughs> Alright, see y'all later. Max, send me a abrazo. Send me a abrazo. Protejo. Right to the place. Oh shit, look at this. Bro, this city is crazy. This shit's mad nice. Mad nice. Very beautiful. So to give some background on this building, this building is known as La Alondiga de Granaditas and it is mostly known for what happened in the independence of Mexico. So back in the day, it used to be where they used to store food in Guanajuato and everything. And the independence war, the Spaniards took cover in this place to fight the insurgents. The insurgents were the good guys of the independence. El Pipila, a very well-known heroic person in Guanajuato and all of Mexico, was a person who volunteered to put stone slabs in his back and carried it all the way to the door and burned the door down with the torch to make way clear for the insurgents to go in and take down the Spaniards without him nothing would have been done so that's why he's very well known for his heroics today this building is used to commemorate the independence and everything that happened and all the indigenous cultures as you can, can see with all these sculptures and statues it is to show the history of Mexico <laughs> So we just came back from the museum. Take Shit was crazy. Fit check, fit check. Right. Do my fit, do my fit. Ooh. Hey, come closer, come closer, come closer. Camera fotografica. Ooh. And... Basically, she's a certified content creator here in Guanajuato. Yeah, they know me. <laughs> we're finished with the Arondiga de, de Granaditas, and now we're finally gonna go to the tour. ¿Puedo probar? No me gustó. ¿Le puedo pagar uno para probar? Sí, quiero una cucharita 20. No, pero sí. nomás uno. ¿Cuánto me cobra uno? 50 centavos. No, con el dedo. No pasa nada. Sí. Están buenos. Sí, está bueno. Giving you the best views in the world, like this. Shit. Oh my god, that's where we're at. Yeah, ahí está, ahí está nuestro hotel. Oh. <laughs> We wanted to show you guys the view at the top of the statue of El Pipila, but it's closed today. I don't know if they, they let us go in anymore, but right now it's closed. No podemos. But you guys saw that view. Did y'all see this view? Oh, hey, hey, hey. ¿Qué, qué? Oh. Cámara fotográfica. Soy una profesional.
no tiene una patita. Nada más el brazo, pobrecita. All right, y'all, so for explanation, we just went to the museum. It was like a horror museum. De los lamentos, la casa de los lamentos. <laughs> and there was definitely lamentos. And now we're going to the mines because this is a Pueblo Minero. It was a Pueblo Minero how it was founded. And guess what we already got? Uh, these are los de tigre. The tiger crystals? Mines, no hagas eso. Punch in your coochie. <laughs> Not my butt. <laughs> Ah, so these are the tiger crystals and these are supposed to help you with your goals and, and you stay focused. Yeah, peep it. So I bought one of these the other day and it fucking broke. So. Dude, she got one the other day in a town that is not even like a Minero town for 300 pesos and these were like half the price. Real. So I just want to talk a little bit about the history of mining in Guanajuato because a lot of people do not know about this and I knew nothing and I feel like it should be very known. But back in the days, indigenous people actually were slaves to the Spaniard people and they would have indigenous children from around 10 to 12 years old starting to work in these mines in horrible conditions, practically naked for hours and hours on end. They actually had a life expectancy max of nine years because of the conditions they were in. And they actually worked with their hands and very, very basic equipment for around 300 years with minimal light as y'all can see this is a light that they use to work these mines and these mines go deep y'all we were deep in the ground it's truly such a sad and inhumane history and i really hope this just opened your guys's eyes about how indigenous people used to be treated from spaniards because this is just a teeny little insight indigenous people's stories and voices are constantly being ignored and not heard so i just wanted to give some more insight on that and i hope you guys learn something new So we can take our peek. There's tunnels all under this entire city. Everything I've seen on top, there's tunnels under. Also, we tried to go yesterday, but there was hella people, like way, way too many fucking people. Big ass line. I think we showed y'all the line. We're gonna try to scare him. Ah! 